Hi there, I am Cam Lacay and this is Mercury Live. I am here at the Miami International Boat Show and today I am speaking with Tyler Merrill of Mercury Marine. So today we're going to be talking about joystick piloting for single engine pontoons. All right, Tyler, so the show is busy. We were able to track you down for this. So explain to us, what is uh, JPO for single engine pontoons? Well, pontoons have been a really fast growing popular category of boats for a lot of years now. And we've had joystick piloting capabilities on multi-engine boats for a really long time. Right. So it was really a perfect time to marry those two things together and be able to offer those joystick capabilities to single engine pontoons since most pontoons are single engine. Right. Pontoons mm -hmm. can be one of the more difficult boats to dock. You know, they catch the wind pretty well. They have some pretty high sides on them, uh, really big turning radius. So having a joystick that allows you to spin in place or move the boat straight sideways is something that really is not possible without this system that we, we have now. Exactly, so you're gonna see more and more people using this or wanting this actually on their pontoons then. Right, yeah, it's gonna be probably a really popular option, again, for single engine boats, um, anything DTS with a Mercury outboard. So tell me, Tyler, how is Mercury really able to deliver a 360 degree joystick with a single outboard that we're talking about today? Well, in order to have joystick capabilities on a boat, you have to have multiple thrust vectors or okay. multiple sources of thrust. So in order to do that on a single engine boat, we had to add a couple of deployable thrusters, one at the bow and one at the stern, um, to really be able to move the boat however you move the joystick. So those two thrusters that we went and really purpose built for this exact scenario on a pontoon is what allows us to have those joystick capabilities on a single engine boat. So you mentioned a little bit about the deployable thrusters, right? So tell us a little bit more about what that is, how they're exactly powered. Sure, so they're both powered off of a 36 volt battery bank, similar to trolling motors on a lot of boats today. As far as how you actually use it, you need to have the boat on, keyed on, so your engine will be running. Okay. You have your throttle control in neutral, just like all of our other joystick uh, boats that we have today. And then you're just gonna hit a simple button right on the joystick and it's gonna deploy those thrusters into the water and you're off and running. When you're done using the joystick, either you're you know pulled up to the dock or the trailer at the end of the day, or maybe you're about to go for a cruise, a couple different options there. If you're done for the day, you can key off, turn the engine off and it's gonna retract those thrusters or you can hit that button again on the joystick. Or lastly, if you're about to go for a cruise, you go ahead and put your throttle into, into gear and it's automatically gonna pull them up out of the water for you up underneath the, the deck of the boat. I feel like the way that he just explained that was just, it was such one, two, three, <laughs> such easy steps. I feel like anyone could do this, right? It just seems like it's pretty streamlined how this works, would you say? Yeah, that's the idea is really, you know, making this as easy as possible to drive you know, some big bulky pontoons, you know, you might have eight, 10, 12 people out on right. your out on your boat, friends and family. Um, a lot of new people in the boat, boating world these days, maybe aren't as familiar with driving boats, but even, you know, for seasoned veterans, pontoons are not one of the easiest types of boat to drive. To maneuver, so right? this yeah. really solves that and makes it as intuitive as it could possibly be. Tell me a little bit, can the JPOs for single engine pontoons be installed on any boat or is it um, specific to certain types of pontoons? So this is really compatible with any pontoon, both with two tunes or tri-tune pontoons that has a DTS outboard, which stands for digital throttle and shift. Um, so we have digital throttle and shift available on our outboards from 175 horsepower on up. Um, we have two different versions of this, uh, this system. One of them is compatible with regular hydraulic steering. So that's going to be, again, any DTS boat. Okay. Or you can get the version that has an electric helm that's going to automatically center the wheel for you when you go to start joysticking. Since we have the thrusters providing uh, port and starboard thrust, the engine providing forward and reverse thrust. So you want that engine center. The premium version has an electric helm that's going to center that, that wheel for you. Okay, and that's it easier. <laughs> Correct. And that's available on all of our Verado outboards, so 250 up to now 600 horsepower with the B12. Okay, so I think what you're telling us here is that with the pontoons, there are so many options for you being able to get a JPU on your pontoon, even if you have a varied one than maybe someone else. Th Certainly. There's the options. Yep, definitely. Okay. As you're listening, I'm sure you're thinking, how can I get my hands on this, right? There's probably a big demand. So when will JPOs for single engine pontoons be available? So this is gonna start shipping to boat builders March 28th, 2022. So you can look forward to seeing this installed on a lot of new pontoons in the spring of 2022. So that's literally just a few months away. So people will be able to get their hands on this pretty quickly. Yep, not too far off. All right, well, Tyler, that's it for this specific topic, but I'm gonna be seeing you again. So for now, this is Kamala Kay again. We're tuning out with Mercury Live and we'll see you on the next episode.